Assistant Inspector and Surveyor at Institute of Building and Testing Technology. He is a Mechanical Engineer with ASNT Level 3, AWS CWI, which is in New York, Welding Inspector at uh, with CSWIP TWI at Cambridge and UK. He is also Welding Inspector uh, for International Welding uh, Technologist. He is uh, he has an experience of more than 33 years of teaching various subjects of mechanical engineering, which is related to welding engineering. Today, Mr. Satish will talk about quality and standards for welding construction equipment. So delegates, let's welcome Mr. Satish Sara. Today we'll be discussing about the whatever the construction is going on and what is the scope for all the welding engineers, welders and the robotic uh, systems. So I thought I can talk about it. Only my request to Madam, the cutting will come first and then the welding. So definitely uh, there is a cutting technology is also very, very important when we're talking about the construction division because and when the cutting is appropriate then only the welding will be done and then there is a number of cutting process available according to the requirement and um, i'll be not talking about the cutting but definitely the cutting and welding goes together just i would like to give a one example now recently if we look at to the mumbai bhainda there is a on western railway the first stainless steel foot over bridge has been made. So in construction, there's a lot of changes is happening in material and then the processes to weld it and cutting and welding. So now when we're talking about the scope for the new engineers, as well as whatever the existing fabrication companies who is fabricating, they need to divert to the special metals like stainless steel, aluminum fabrications will be the huge scope in coming future. So we need a diversification from the conventional carbon steel or low alloy steel welding to the special metals. Even now, most of the construction will be there in future. Maybe we'll be talking about this duplex and super duplex kind of things. So we need to change our focus with the industrial requirement. Even in Bandra Kula complex, now, whatever the new Reliance uh, structure has come, this is all fabricated structure and a lot of fabrication is going on. New buildings, new constructions, new bridges, where you will see the, there is a special changes which is happening. People is shifting from the concrete to the steel structure. So definitely there will be new openings for the fabricators and the welding companies where we'll have a lot of potential for this. I think Madam has given my details to you. I'm in this field for last 33 years. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm an ASNT level three, AWCWI as well as I'm a welding inspector and international painting technologist and uh, international welding technologist also. So uh, I started my career with Advani Orlikon. I had worked for Advani Orlikon for five years, 87 to 92. I had worked for the Advani Orlikon. Then 16 years, I had worked for Larsen and Tubro, Hawaii. And from 2008, I'm working with the Institute of Welding and Testing Technology as a head inspection and surveyor. Just looking at the scope when we talk about the fabrication. Now, if you look at to the in fabrication, always we consider welding is a special process and the major uh, fabrication has been done by welding. Whatever the bridges, flyovers, cars, locomotive coaches, everywhere you will see, whatever the development will be taking place, there is a good machineries need to be made. So everywhere steel has been used. And as per the fact, no each ton of steel, at least we need a minimum five kgs of weld matter. Looking at the railways, for example, we need even that consumption goes up to 48 kgs per ton. So definitely there is a good scope for the cutting and welding team who may be fabricators or manufacturing the construction equipment or the uh, welding machine manufacturers, welding consumable manufacturers. If you look all around, there is a huge scope for the welding and cutting. So when we talk about the scope, how it has been defined. Now, this is a, whatever the studies has been done by the internationally, the 300 kgs per person per year in developed economy steel consumption is there. Now, 
if you look at to india our steel consumption is very less the sustainable level for per capita consumption of steel is about 300 kg per person per year in developed economy when country is in infrastructure creation mode the consumption goes even up to 1000 kg per person per year and finally stable at around 300 kg per capita consumption for china is 220 kg where the south korea is as highest 950 kg per uh, capita consumption now if you look into the india in india the per capita consumption is only 74.1 now if you look at there is a requirement for to become a developed country or to become a you no know, to go ahead with the basic need also we are much behind than the world so there is a, when we are in a, much behind the world definitely we need to develop so for that development we need to consume more steel and when there is a more steel consumption definitely our country will develop and whoever in this fabrication and welding and may, maybe manufacturing welding machine or robotics or welding consumable or doing the fabrication all everyone will have a huge scope now to get into this what need to be done so we need to increase our consumption and for that the fabrication and manufacturing unit we need to have more and more manufacturing units in india definitely government is also doing and uh, they are planning to have a more development more fabrication more manufactures instead of importing the things from outside we are focusing on make in india so definitely when we start making in india our steel consumption will go high our economy will grow this whatever data i had taken this data has been taken from the google where our steel consumption has been shown so you can also google it and check what is the per capita consumption of china what is the per capita consumption of us what is the per capita consumption of germany so you will come to know where we are standing today when we are having a less consumption means we are having more scope the development this is the some data that has been collected where we need to have good skill people also to perform along with the like when we talk about always we talk about the fire no so we we can have a good machines we need good material as well as we, we need good manpower now us itself required around 4 lakhs welding engineers and welders in us Yes. so there is a huge demand for the welders and welding people all over the world even if you look at to the india india also needed on 2026 more engineers more welders more entity personals to work in this particular field so that is the basic need and it is very few guys knows about the welding technology generally people will maybe need to practice more and we should have good institutions available to make this welders because other trade if you compare with the skill level to achieve for the other trade the is slightly cheaper to train but training one welders we need lot of steel material or electrode electricity and all so the consumption is very high so nowadays we are using the advanced technology like we use a simulator vr systems so that need to be get implemented and we have to create more good welding engineers welders in india now using advanced processes if you look at how in india still we are not shifting our focus to the automated and semi automated processes we need to change our way of working to get the result out of it if you look at whatever the semi automatic and automatic processes we are using where i have taken an example of gmw process which is more popular where we can see it has been implemented more on the automotive industries and the construction equipment manufacturing but still if you go to the foot over bridge manufacturing or if you go for the road over bridge manufacturing or the construction side still people believe to go on the smw process that we need to change we need to focus ourselves we need to train our people we need to do little bit modification with the equipments 
because whatever equipment has been designed for the Europeans may not be useful for us with our environmental conditions. We need to modify the equipments which will suit to our people and then we can get more productivity, more quality. Whatever the research has been done, definitely we can take advantage of that and we should go ahead with the advanced welding processes and definitely the robotech is a solution but along with that we need a good manpower to do the programming teaching of the robots it is buying the robot is not an issue i remember when i was working with the larson and jugro the larson sir used to say we can buy the machines but we cannot buy the people the so people is the main asset available with us which need to be trained get educated and they can do the wonders to the construction division also so this process, if you look at to the GMW, is not a new process which has been invented in 1940s. But the problem comes when we talk about, we try to copy directly and without understanding the fundamentals of the process. And then we blame to the process. It is not giving the desired results which is required. So I would like to tell you, we need to shift it to the advanced processes. Along with that, man, material method the way of working need to change and then once we'll do that because there is always competition from the outside so we need to make in india and we have to help ourselves and definitely that will help to the country so this is a small uh, introduction which i thought i can give it to you all and if any questions will be there that we can discuss in an open forum thank you